Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Today, we are going to make the Grand Margarita, as you can see right here. But can we improve it into the new improved Grand Margarita? Stay with me all the way to the end, and we'll find out. Let's get into it. Now this is a three ingredient cocktail. Simple, easy, but before we get started, we're going to dress up our glass. So I have a nice fancy little rocks glass here. I like this one. Use whatever you prefer. However, we need to salt half the rim. So to begin with, grab your lime, and what we'll do is we'll just cut this in half and then rim half the glass with lime juice and salt. All right, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now what we're going to do is take our lime and we're just going to cut off one lime slice for the garnish. Just put that off to the side. But before you're done, put a cut in it so you can easily put it in afterwards. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters of lime juice. Absolutely great. This lime, oh, it just smells tart. You just can't go wrong. So we are gonna start next with our tequila. I'm using Espolone tequila. This is a silver tequila or Blanco, depending on whatever you wanna call it. And we're going to use one ounce or 30 milliliters. Ooh, fantastic. You cannot beat a good tequila. Now we are going to put the Grand in the Grand tequila and we're going to use Grand Marnier. In fact, this recipe comes directly off their website. And we're going to use the same amount again one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right, and this is the way it's done. So what we are going to do now is we are going to fill the glass up with a little bit of ice and we'll shake this for a good 15 seconds, maybe, good enough, uh, 15 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. And you know, before you do, make sure you've got a really good seal there. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, fantastic. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Move that over here. What we're going to do now is add, I can't believe I just put that back on, uh, some fresh ice, just to fill up our glass a little bit, like so. You know, hopefully your ice will uh, play ball with you. And what I am going to do is I'm going to fine strain this to keep out any chunks. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a beautiful color, nice, easy to look at. Grab your lime wheel, slide it on the corner like so, and let's try it out. So immediately I get a little bit of the citrus scent and I get a stronger orange odor. Let's try it out. I think the Grand Marnier is a little over the top on this. Let's try it with the salt. The salt does make it a little bit better, but I think it's missing something. So let's see if we can improve this. Now, as you can see, I have pre-prepped another rocks glass, cut ourselves a garnish. I've got our lime cut in half, and we are going to shake this again. But what we're going to do this time is add a fourth ingredient and change the ratios. But the initial ratio of half an ounce of lime juice will stay. Now the next thing we are going to add is a little bit of sweetness. And we're going to use some agave syrup. But we only need a little bit just to balance things out. So we're gonna start with a half an ounce, not a half an ounce, what am I saying? We're gonna start with a bar spoon, which is five mils. Ho, 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 gonna look good. Just kind of give this a bit of a mix, just so it mixes in there good. Now, the next thing we are going to use is a Reposado tequila. Now I'm using Alto Tomeco. It's one of my favorite tequilas. And what we'll do now is we will increase the tequila amount, but we're going to take this to one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. And this will give you some other flavors because a Reposado is a rested in oak tequila. And you know what? I really like it. Now our next thing again is to put the Grand back into it. And we're gonna use a little bit of Grand Marnier, but we're going to use a little bit less this time. We're going to use, well, three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. 
All right. Now you can already tell this is going to give you a different set of flavors than the first one. So just throw this off to the side. Again, fill it with a little bit of ice. And what we'll do is we'll just shake it for the exact same amount of time, a good 15 seconds plus a little bit, you know, and away we go. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a little bit of agave syrup. Put that to the side, grab your new rocks glass, add a little bit more fresh ice, like so. Yeah, that's good enough. And again, what we will do is we will find the tools that I, you know what? I'm just gonna use my julep strainer and strain it in like so. Oh yeah, look at that. Again, throw yourself a little bit of a garnish on there and we'll give it a try. It smells a little bit sweeter. We, it's a little bit less intense on the citrus orange notes. Okay, that's really good. You get those flavors from the Reposado and the Grand Marnier blending together really well. The agave helps to bring it up with the brightness of the lime juice. And in my opinion, I think this is an improved version of the Grand Marnier. So here we have two fantastic cocktails, the Grand Margarita and the improved Grand Margarita. If this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification and that way you'll get notified every time I put up a new video and I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make both of these down in the description down below. You have a fantastic day.